do? Uh, welcome to Shedlock 2000's Land Rover channel of many interesting things. Um, last video, uh, you would have been introduced to this black uh, D5. There it is. Look, um, I still don't have a name yet, which is another complicated story. It takes time, and this one's been a bit of a pain. Well, not a pain, but there's nothing wrong with it. But it's just, name's just not coming. Normally they develop a bit of personality already and, and this one's um, not yet, even though I've had a play day with it. In the last video, uh, you probably saw this roof rack, which Land Rover call a versatile roof rack, uh, and then they changed the name and put it on a Defender and called it the Expedition roof rack, because apparently you can't Expedition in a D5 as well, I don't know what they've got going on anyway, it's very roughly the same roof rack, and all this has only got two sort of supports and the Defender's got three, but it's basically the same thing um anyway you'll have seen that roof rack in the uh in the 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 videos that, or the previous video um and also you might have noticed the keen eyed ones amongst you might have noticed that uh it all it had it came when i bought it with these roof bars on and um and i had to take the roof rails off and the roof bars off for for uh, a couple of different reasons. The first reason is that these roof bars, he says, moving the camera around, you're going to be dizzy, aren't you? These roof bars, they've got a pin in them, and the pin uh, holds the location on those roof bars, on the roof rails at a, at a certain distance. And if you're, if you're mounting kayaks or, he says, spinning you around, spin me round, round, baby, round, round, um, or bikes, then you're probably going to want different spacing on your, on your, on your roof bars to, to, to properly carry the loads and, and you know what that i'm like carrying all manner of rammel speaking of rammel you can see i've got um the roto packs uh fuel cans up there and that's because rich and i and uh Emeka from driven hard shout out to the brother uh now uh driven hard if oh this is a bit of a diversion if you've if you've not seen driven hard's youtube channel you should absolutely get on that because he's an absolutely he's an outstanding chap full stop but he's got a range rover sport and he's a bit he's a bit like us really he's, he's a bit not too tightly wrapped he is and and he takes his sport out and he does all manner of scary things with it um so head over to driven hard uh and we will check out his channel but we've just had a land rover weekend in um, organized by uh land rover of Kelowna. Out at a ranch, seven and a half diamond ranch in in somewhere near Princeton, it is in in BC. Anyway, well, I've been out and I put those on the top because uh, I didn't know how far we'd be going off the road and uh, I didn't know what kind of an event it was, so I sort of packed in. <laughs> you know me, I'm always ready, so we're ready for everything. Anyway, I put those on and and these sorts of things you can't. I mean, you can fasten them on these roof bars, uh, but. They're a little less flexible, of course, because you've got to have different types of clamps. And the mechanism I use to clamp these on is a bit more, um, it's a bit more fitting towards the car. You can't just see, but I've made special plates. Can you see that fit in between the rails of the versatile roof rack, um, which, which is very versatile. And anyway, so I've had put this on for lots of different reasons. So the video you're going to see now was recorded while my mum was here, previous to me recording the intro. Um, and as, mu as much as I love you all very dearly, my mum was here and she's not seen her for very long, so I sort of dashed through that installation because I had to go and pick up a bed. This is turning into a right rambly story, isn't it? Anyway, I go and pick up a bed while my mum was here. So I was going to do a fancy job with a GoPro and put it up, you know, like I did with the kayak racks and all that kind of stuff. But in reality, I ran out of time and I just recorded very quick snippets of the installation video of the pertinent, relevant bits, which, as is my wanting, very short, no matter how short I wanted it to be. Um, and so here I am, 
uh, having trolled through about three hours of footage, realising that the intro recorded while my mum were here has disappeared into ether. Right, so the first thing we've got to do is take these existing ones off, which is, it looks a little bit more simple than it actually is. I thought this fancy little thing would just be to sort of pull it out and away you go, but you've got to unwind it and then pull it out sideways and it's all a bit of a complicated affair. But anyway, take these off and then we've got to strip this old bar off. Now the problem with that is that if I look up here you can see these uh, covers here, can you just see that? Uh, there you are, these covers here. Now apparently you break them when you take them off. Um, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to try and get them out with a with a tool, but I'll have a bit of a do and we'll see what we can come up with. But I think, to be honest, the, the drama is going to be in taking these off and then getting it all stripped down. These pieces here, these trim finishes here, this has got to come off and there's a bunch of other things. I'll show you some destructions <laughs> uh, if I can fiddle out how to put it in and, <clears throat> and I'll see what I can sort out, but I am limited by time and space this time round. Um, Allen key here, this is a, what size is this? I think this is a 4mm but I could be entirely wrong, 5mm um, and apparently undo it like this, uh, pull this little red tag down, slide it out and somehow along the line I'm told this flicks up but I, I'm as wise as you with the ways of this here, don't just quite understand what the, what the point of the thing is but um, or how it fastens but oh there you are I think that's out isn't it so I think you just spin this out and tap it in and, and with any luck this should to protect me roof I'm just going to pop this blanket on here because like uh, with the defender just the same this has got a big glass roof and you start pouring tools on it and it all ends up being a bit of a mess really so I'm just going to lift this up here and you can see I've just out waddled this about a bit uh, and this pin's come out but that does mean that it can only sort of go in one position on this roof right which limits the kind of options you have for moving it about and adjusting it and that's one of the issues I have with this rack is that of course I've got kayaks and things behind me I'll just bring this up so you can see I've got kayaks and things and I put those on the roof rack as you know and I have to move them about and if you're limited to where this goes that's one of the reasons of that take it off because it not everything can stay in that position if you see what i mean right in the words of the great uh granville and ronnie barker and i suppose ronnie corbett as well uh, possibly some of the greatest comedians ever to face this you know to grace this planet uh what you've got to do to get this little thing off is jer jer jiggle it a bit which seems like a very simple thing at first but it's kind of not so you take this you do unwind it and then you kind of push it forward so the problem was that whatever was on that side was stuck the spring Ooh. so it didn't pull that out and i've gone and taken this off the farm to look and apparently although i've only just found this out if you take it off the far <laughs> it falls on the floor things you learn now i'm showing you this because apparently this is the hard bit and it says in the Land Rover magazine in the Land Rover instructions that you've got break it to get drill hole it says to get it off well that seems a little excessive for my liking but it does look like that's the, the case I've just bent that tool so I don't know how these click in but apparently they click in in a way where you kind of get them out and it looks like they might be right now I've gone perhaps a little big here but so that is that and then I guess it says flick them out but I don't know how you meant to do that screwdriver perhaps or something don't really like breaking things and I do wish that Land Rover had done something about this that uh, it could have pulled it out without 
without breaking it there you are so this is the thing isn't it look so you've got these big clips in the end and they are sprung so you've got to sort of slide something down there and and I don't know what these do these obviously do something don't they when they get to the bottom and perhaps they stop it chattering but they do seem to suggest that that's not now this is a bit this is a bit excessive but this is what it says to use so uh, you remove these here this is a T40 T45 and whip these off like that it says and uh, then you can throw these because these are apparently too long I did speak to a chap, well, I didn't speak to a chap but I read of a guy on the Disco 5 forum and what he used when he put those covers on I'll just ping it up a bit was he, he created a neat little fishing line affair that went round and you could push down on the on the device to help you get them out and I'm not quite sure how he did it but if anybody's interested this fella did have a cure to taking them in and out I don't know why you'd want to but anyway that's that's what that's one way of doing it I suppose now once you've taken off those those six bolts that I've just shown you a sort of a torx bolt uh, you can then lift the rails straight up there's no holding them on just a bit of a rubber strip and then you've got to take these spacers out I don't know what they do but anyway they've got a little rubber dude on the bottom and it's important I guess to keep that rubber dude safe uh, in case you want to put it back on and use it again so be mindful of that now that moves to the front but this front affair is, is also a spacer but as you can see it's, it's attached and there's two bolts here two torque to screws and I think oh, it's the same size yeah so take that off in the same way now I should mention to you that the whole of this roof is glass I've got the, the towel down to stop me uh, the thing scratching but these chaps I always hold on to them put them in my pocket because I'm not comfortable with just dropping them on the you know putting them on just in case they roll off and I don't know now I've come to take this one off which I haven't remember I was saying about these rubber things that for some reason or other this is the only one that's done it but these rubber dudes have stuck sat in the hole here and you can get at them easily enough but what I'm saying is if you didn't know to think about it then they'd be hand scraped wouldn't they you see can you see now this will be exciting instructions say you've got to take this this panel off here now uh, looking at the looking at the way it said there's some sticky pads on here and about here here and here are two little clips you can just sort of see the mark there now I'm not quite sure how you go about getting in here to the clips but it says to do this so that's what I'm that's what I'm doing apparently you throw this away but I don't know that I don't know that I like that very much at all it says take care not to damage the paint oh you can see it's stuck can't you but there we are how was that going you can feel it when you pull it you can feel that tape sort of coming away and I might be better with a different tool here but there you go that's one of the clips out oh there we go there we are now there we are it has not broken the clips but they have not come out with it so it's sort of broken the clips uh, so that's exciting isn't it can you see that's the hole and that's one with a clip in so they're at the front edge and you might stand a better chance if you went about at the front I suppose these are the sacrifices that, that I make here we go that's one on the floor that I make here to, to help you guys get a better do at the job I suppose but you know now that's gone on the floor and I can't find it now there you are right there are four clips so there's two at the broader end which you'd sort of expect this thing here I guess you could glue that back in if you wanted to be fancy uh, and that one there so you got two three along the bottom and then two at that back end 
I have a feeling that you'd be better um, you'd be better served with a different sort of tool perhaps a longer one and more of an angle but anyway we'll have a do it the other side and see what happens there right now even though I had more of an idea what I was doing on the other side um, I still managed to break the uh break this cover all together one of the one of the pieces actually come right off and it was a bit of a drama um and uh, and so i'm not entirely sure that you're ever going to be able to get this uh this cover off without breaking it unless you're extremely lucky at least i'm not this has had a bit of sun there are some little clips in here that have broken if you can see and that's on this side and the other side's the same and it does tell you to get rid of all of this uh, you can't just see, or perhaps you can just see here. There's some a little bit of, um, there's a little bit of uh, uh, sticky stuff that they've used to stick the plate down at the back, and it says that you've got to be very careful to get rid of that because I'm presuming the new one, and it's here at the front as well. I'm presuming that the new one has the same. So uh, you can, I guess, you can use one of these chaps if you like, or if you've got a better tool. Uh, just to get that off um, I normally like one of those little razor scrapers but this is right on the paint here and I don't know how much of this would be covered so I'm going to stick with plastic and take it from there now I have a number of different solvents as you can imagine and I've rubbed this stuff off and I've just used this is isopropyl alcohol and it seems to be doing a reasonable job of getting rid of that sticky stuff the sticky residue there so um i suppose you could use a number of different other things if you if you so fancied but uh, i can tell you that isopropyl alcohol actually this is methyl alcohol methyl mek as they used to say in the uk this is the canadian version and it's uh it's not bad i have a feeling that perhaps someone else would have been better but it'll do won't it now the instructions say uh, that you're to install these two sealing bolts here but there doesn't appear to be any sort of a gasket or anything they're just a just a plain thing so I don't, I'd prefer that to have had some sort of a rubber o-ring or something over it to seal it because I can't imagine that that would seal very well but I really didn't like them on their own so I've got some, I've just found some rubber washers here, they're not the best size on the world, on their own, uh, they're not the best size fit if you see what I'm saying, but I think they're better than nothing. Uh, these are meant to be sealing washers for water, because going straight through there is a, there's a roof lining. I can't imagine that it is right to do anything without a, without a washer, seems very strange to me, but anyway. So what I've done is I've just put these in, and then, uh, at least it's got a bit of something now it very politely the instructions very politely tell you to make sure you get uh, these uh, the right way around and to make sure you've got these rubber dudes on again remember as I was talking about them. so this one's the front left so it says and I've just uh, I've given all these others a clean but I've, I've left this one here to show you I've just got a little bit of me cleaner left on the on the towel, on the rag or whatever you want to call it, just clean all that lot out, and I've given it a bit of a blowout on all others here, and uh, pop those in there it says, and um, and then uh, pop your washers onto bolts, and, and away you go. Now this is a, uh, I think it's a six mil, uh, what do you call it? But I haven't just can't find the hole now, that's not good is it, that's not a good sign yeah, these washers aren't very good, I thought they'd be some sort of fancy coated affair but they ain't eh? just as they are and they don't seem very good to me any road, pop these on here making sure you've got them the right road round and it says 32 newton meters now I, uh, I haven't got one of those fancy tools I have somewhere but um, I'm going to use me, me tool here I think and we should be all right but I have a feeling that 32 newton meters is a bit more than this 
little ratchet is going to be able to give us and it feels pretty tight already oh, that's not great is it might have got all that across threaded a torch any road I'll just nip that in I do have a fancy tool to do this job and make it more easily but there you are that one's better isn't it might have some sort of a thing that they put on last time like a thread locker or something in there that's better feels better that one does I won't go and get a bigger thing because I don't think that's 32 newton meters get a bigger toy out that'll do her I think I've no idea what 32 newton meters feels like but I have got 30 something years of experience so I'm going with about that <laughs> now I do just have to say that I'm not very happy with this because can you see how the like I'm sure wind will get under that and make it flap about or pull that thing up there doesn't seem to be anything to hold it down previously of course there was a as a bar on here to hold this other bit down well that just seems like it's going to rattle around a lot and there's no to can do about it because it's it's sort of as stuck as it gets if you see what I mean so I don't it's not terribly heavy is this but it is a bit awkward and I have not put my ladder in the middle so this is going to be a delight isn't it Cameron yeah. can I borrow you please yeah. right oh, to, that's it. I'm going to go up that ladder there don't I'm going to pass you this ladder this thing here what I want you to do can you see I've got that towel down yeah. just straighten the towel out a bit so that the glass doesn't that's it good lad this is our oh, camera and looks like wave at the camera everybody and what I want you to do I'm going to pick that up can you grab your feet on and feet can you grab underneath that rail hey oh that's it it's not that heavy just slide it to you but lift it up lift it up oh right to go on I'll put all it there ready to pick up see the feet it's got to sit on now go to you a bit go to the back of the car a bit pick it up and just offer it go that way and I'll go backwards that's it just a touch more hang on hang on I think it might be about right there how's that look not so bad isn't it champion that thanks bud yeah, bye, bye. Now apparently there are some little plates that you screw, I think you screw the, the whole thing into those things there and I think they're a captive nut angled, I think that sucks it all down. Now these chaps are tapered can you see and it doesn't tell me which way to put them up, whether you put them up this way, I can't show you whether I put them up that way or well, that way or, oh, I don't know what they do they have got a thread in them as you can just about see and I've got a feeling they sort of go in rounded edge and, and what have you but I've only just put this in here so that I can feel how I'm going on but I might have this I mean they do fit quite nicely but I might have it all backwards about forwards no I did put it in the right room it's only a guess really because he doesn't actually say in instructions it just says make sure you I am up which isn't very helpful is it I am up to what anyway there we are and then it says I've got to measure it but not now it'll be out of line sure I mean there's only so much Jerjer jiggle room, I suppose there's a bit of Jerjer jiggle room, isn't there? How much Jerjer jiggle room do you need? Using best not terribly accurate tool, that line to the end of the thing, the end of the rubber on the bracket, is inch and a quarter. So I guess that's what it'll be, inch and a quarter or bust. 
right let's carry on now this rack comes with this i don't know what you'd call it this sort of a, a second bar a cross bar or whatever anyway this uh, has got some rubber feet on it and it stops the sunroof from sliding all the way back now i'm not actually quite sure why you'd want to do that uh, and really this would only permit it to come back i guess about six inches or something um and it, it stops it i guess and, and maybe it stops it interfering with your load or something i don't know what it does but any road uh, they've suggested that you put this thing in but if you don't if you don't want to you don't have to i use lots of these a lot and i don't actually use the sunroof very much uh, but anyway they've given you this fancy little two d here which is a sort of a torx device and it's well actually that's easy to use but anyway uh, we'll go to the other side and we'll show you what's happening there now here's this thing again and i have noticed that it's not actually 100 percent bob in they've put the things in to screw these into and they've sort of trapped it in place but as you can sort of hear it's not really just quite in the zone if you see what i mean so one of these isn't right five and a quarter five and a half this one isn't in the right place a fair ear it's got a little bit of a pimple in it to sit in the in the groove maybe that's it there you are. there we go 11 newton meters he said now you can finish putting this um can finish putting this trim line in here then that's a to stop it whistling and b to stop it uh stuff sliding about so we'll do that and then it's the job done basically i'm sat on roof right now as you can see and i'm not doing a very good job because i'm i'm trying to do this and show you this at the same time but uh can you just see that you can so this is one of these trim pieces that you meant to put in this is the same as this on the defender and you meant to cut this uh so that it fits the sizes that you want just shove it into a hole it says and then just trim it to length because these bars are actually a different length to each other because the the rack is tapered to fit uh, the top of the discovery roof as it is on the defender too and so these are all made the same length and presumably you just have to snip a bit off the end to to fit it to your thing and this one is one of the shorter ones so if i just spin this round here hopefully you can come down and see I shift everything out of the way that this one just has a little bit here I'm just going to snip that like that with my best scissors and then there it is fitted now well, there you have it that is the roof rack fitted in position everything's tightened up now I'm still not happy about these finishing pieces here which seem to me not to be finished at all and it seems a bit you can see proud here i don't know what's going on there but i don't like that at all i might have to put some silicon in if they pop up um it has a similar sort of wind deflector as the other one did but um the sunroof comes up from here and so as you can see oh from here sorry and so you can see that my big light might interfere again with uh with the the sunroof not that it's a terrible issue but it's enough to be a bit of a bother um and so it's a it's a bit of a low fitting jam and it looks halfway right it looks better than before i don't know how noisy it is i'm told they are a bit noisy but uh, the reality is i need it and that's the end of it isn't it anyway there we go that's that basically thank you very much for tuning in been a bit of a rapid start to uh the d5 part i suppose of this this 
uh, website and on well, a website, YouTube channel, or whatever you want to call it. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll continue to make some more material for, for this uh, vehicle, and, and uh, hopefully, they'll be a bit more professional and, and a bit sharper than, than this one will be because of obviously rushing here to get on and while well, my mum's here, and I'll explain that more later on. But anyway, thanks very much for tuning in. Please do like and subscribe, or wherever I'll put it for. Uh, for more content on the D5 this time round I guess and, and we shall see you next time thank you very much cheerio <laughs> look scowling look <laughs>